It's Diane the Nursing Geek, day 27 of NaNoWriMo, at 46,000 and something words, so still progressing, slowing down and slowing down. I mean, yesterday I only got 163 words total, um, and no filming whatsoever. So, yeah, it's... Um, it's in some ways slowing down, which I suppose it kind of should towards the end. On the other hand, you would think as you're ramping up to the climax, things would build up. I'm finding that I'm running into a familiar problem, though. I know the character resolution. And I know roughly the plot resolution. It's trying to make them happen together with enough resonance. That's the challenge. I remember having the same problem with my first novel length work. So I went back and reread the final chapter of that. I think one of the things I'm going to need to do in December is go back and reread the whole thing. Because when I reread the final chapter, my reaction was, I did that? Really? That's how I worked this out? It didn't even include the final fight scene. That must have been in the second to last chapter, which I remember my beta reader saying, okay, this, this is not a fight scene. This, this is a show up, kaboom, walk away scene that doesn't work. And my internal reaction that I don't think I shared with her at the time was, well, yeah, that's because I don't care about the fight. The fight's just there because that needs to be tied up somehow. But the real stuff is what happens after. That's really not ideal. You want the character resolution and the plot resolution to come together. So that you don't have a fight scene that you then have to go back and... I remember still being unsatisfied with how it turned out. I didn't get that feedback from readers. But I seem to have really good readers who only said things, nice things. Um, or just didn't say anything at all. But I think my beta reader was even like, okay, well, you punched it up a little, but that's still not a really good fight scene. And fight scenes are hard. They are really hard to write anyway. And if you don't actually care about the fight, it's going to show. And it did. I do care about the fight here, sort of but I care about what it shows for the character and the decisions she's going to have to make. She's already had to make a couple of decisions that back at the beginning she would never have made, but that she really needed to make. I need to figure out how to, how to wrap it up, deal with the antagonist, in a way that's satisfying, both in terms of how the antagonist is dealt with and what that shows about Vi. And then I keep repeating the mantra. There's always revisions. There's always revisions. There's always revisions. <laughs> so it doesn't have to be perfect now. I just need to barrel through it, <clears throat> which is how I managed to crank out 800 and something words this morning. Just, just literally dragging the characters literally through the woods toward this final conflict. Gotta run soon. I've got an appointment before work and then work, which is going to be lots of meetings all day and then hopefully getting some stuff done once everybody else leaves and then trying to write when I get home. As seems to be becoming my catchphrase, we'll see. Yeah, I fell asleep before I managed to wrap up the day yesterday. Grand total of words was 893. Didn't manage to write anything when I got home in the evening because I was just way too tired. I mean, I'm talking fell asleep at 830 at night tired. I don't do that. So, not a whole lot got done there. 
So this is me trying to wrap it up so that it doesn't just end on a we'll see note, even though that's pretty much what it's going to be anyway, even if those aren't the last words I say. Yeah. <laughs>